Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor and today we'll be talking about areas between curves. Welcome back. Today we will be talking about section 6.2, regions between curves, and in problem number five we'd like to find the area in the shaded region that lies between these two curves. So the upper curve we have here is y equals x and the lower curve here is y equals x squared minus 2 and we'd like to find the area between these two curves. So the way that we're going to do this is uh, as you know the way that we find the area between two curves is we integrate uh, the top function, whatever the top function is, minus the bottom function over the region which we're interested. So the first thing we really need to know here is, well, what is the x value of this spot <coughs> where the, uh, the two curve, curves cross, and what is the x value of this spot where the two curves cross each other. So the way that we can find that is we could just set the two curves equal to each other and then solve for x or another way to do it is we could just kind of eyeball it and say can we just figure it out by looking at the two curves and I think it's pretty clear right here that if I let x equal let's say negative 1 if x is equal to negative 1 then this guy is 1 minus 2 which is negative 1 and this is negative 1. So uh, negative 1 is one of the points. Here's minus 1. And then what's the other guy? Well, it looks like it might be about 2, but let's just make sure. So if we plug in 2 here, we get 4 minus 2, which is 2. And if we plug in 2 here, we would get 2. So this is, all, this is 2. Now, uh, eyeballing these types of things can be helpful and it's much easier than setting them equal to each other and solving but sometimes we can't do it and in those cases we just need to set the two equations equal to each other and solve for x. So whatever's easier in the situation is the best thing to do. Alright, so now that we know uh, these x values negative 1 and 2 we can go ahead and set up this <coughs> area so the area that I'm looking for is equal to the integral from negative 1 to 2 of the top function, whatever the top function is, minus the bottom function, whatever that is. So in this case, my top function is just the line y equals x, and so we'll put that in as an x. And the bottom function is the function y squared minus 2. So minus, and I make sure to put this in parentheses, x squared minus 2 dx. All right, let's rewrite this. Um, I'll rewrite this as the integral from negative 1 to 2 of, let's just distribute this negative, and I get an x minus x squared plus 2 dx. Now we're ready to go ahead and take an antiderivative here. Uh, let's do it. If I take an antiderivative of x, I get x squared over 2. If I take an antiderivative of negative x squared, I get minus x cubed over 3. And antiderivative of 2 is 2x. All of that will be evaluated from minus 1 to 2. So let's go ahead and plug in the 2 and plug in the minus 1. Uh, if I plug in 2 right here, I get 2 squared, which is 4 over 2. Then I plug in 2 and I get 8 over 3 with a negative, so negative 8 over 3. Uh, 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, okay, so that's plugging in the 2. Then I subtract, plugging in the minus 1. If I plug in the minus 1, I get minus 1 squared, which is 1 over 2, so a half. If I plug in minus 1, I cube minus 1, get negative 1, times negative is positive 1 third. And then finally, I plug in minus 1, and I get minus 2. All right, so let's put all of that together. Um, let's see what we've got here. This is just a 2. This is a minus 8 thirds plus 4. 
I'll distribute this negative through and I get minus one half minus one third plus two. Now let's combine everything together and get our answer. Uh, we're close here. First I'll just combine together all of the constants. So I've got a two plus a four plus a two, which is eight. And then I can combine all together, together all the thirds. I've got negative eight thirds minus an additional third is minus nine thirds or minus three. And then I've got this minus a half. <clears throat> In other words, I have uh, five minus one half. And five minus a half, five is the same as 10 halves minus one half is nine halves. And so what did I just figure out? Nine halves is the area between these two curves. And if you're interested, uh, that of course is in units square. Uh, I'm not typically going to write that down uh, based on the context of the problem. It's fairly obvious if it's in units squared, units cubed. Uh, so I will typically not write that in, but in this case it would be in units squared.